Hi, I'm Andy Walker, one of the producers at Loop. And today I wanna to talk about Logic Pro and give you a quick overview of where everything is. You may be new to using a DAW. You may have used Ableton before or Pro Tools or another DAW like Cakewalk. But today I wanted to walk through specifically where everything is. So whether you're using a DAW for the first time or you're moving from a different DAW, you can find everything really easily to get started on tracks quickly. So let's get started. So when you first open a Logic session, you will see what we have the arranged window. I've used a track that I've made for the site before. And so here you'll see lots of different regions, you'll audio MIDI. And so right here, you'll see all the MIDI, which are these different clips, and then audio, which you can then see the waveform. So the quickest way to tell between the MIDI and the waveform is obviously you can see the, the waveform here, and then the MIDI notes in the MIDI. And so when you're first opening a session, you have the transport bar at the top here, and it may look like this when you first open it. I like customizing my transport bar. So if you click over here, there's lots of different options. I like hitting custom, which then gives you a whole lot more information. So you have your time, you have your tempo, you have your time signature, and then up here it has MIDI in, so when you're actually hitting something, it shows you're getting MIDI data. And if you want to, you can even double click here and see your CPU usage, if you're really running a big session. I'm still missing something that I really like. So you can go here and go to customize control bar and display, and you have lots of options. So we're gonna add capture recording here, which is a really popular feature for MIDI recording. And so again, you see we have record, play, capture recording, and then this here turns on the, the transport bar loop. So if you're recording a certain section, you can loop it right there. And then over here, we have a count in. So when the count in's on, you record, you have a full measure count in before it actually starts recording the section you're at. Or if the count in's off, it just records right from the measure you want to be. So that's the main part of the transport bar here at the top. And then this is the range view. If you're familiar in Pro Tools, um, especially, you can go to the mixer view here, and that'll take you to your classic mixer where you can see all your tracks. What's great about Logic though, and why I prefer to produce in Logic, is that here on the left, you have what's called the inspector view. And here, any track that's clicked, you have one, the actual track itself, and then where it goes to, which is great if you use sends or different buses. And so you see here, as you select different tracks here, you can see on the left where you have the effects, the instrument, and so forth. So what's great is if you decide to add a send, you can click on the send and edit the send or hit stereo and it'll change the stereo out. So it's a really quick way to see exactly where your audio is going. So that's the inspector right here. And if you don't see that, you just click on the eye in the top left-hand corner. Moving right along, the other thing, this is super helpful, the quick help button. I usually keep this off if you're really lost and you're like, what is this? You click on quick help and you can see where everything is. And then one last thing in this top bar here, we have the library. And this is where, if you are creating a track, you can load in different user patches. Like this is an organ pack from my buddy Christian Cullen that he created for the community. And so you click on it, it loads it in. And so that's where if you load in patches, you can have tons of patches there. And we'll cover loading in patches in a different video. Back at the arrange view, I wanna talk through this region and track up in the left-hand corner. This is especially important when working with MIDI. You have region, you have 40 selected. And so you can select individual regions at any given moment. So this allows you to edit and move around with everything. And so you can transpose individual regions here. You can change like actual audio delay. And there's other options here I won't get into. And then on the audio, this is where you edit fades. So unlike Pro Tools, Logic doesn't have a create fade feature. So fades are added here with fade out and you have different types. You have the out crossfade, equal power and curve crossfade. And so here you can edit your crossfades. So if I wanna make a gigantic crossfade, I can there. Or I can make a tiny crossfade. And then of course you have the fade in as well that you can edit right here. And then as you can see, you can edit the curve of your fade by doing the curve. And something you'll be familiar with if you've used Ableton before is clip gain essentially. Right here is where you can adjust your region gain, and you can really see the effects that the gain here on the left has. 
So that's how to use the region. And then again, this is especially important with MIDI, you have track. So this is where you find transpose. So in this particular song, the song was in E flat and I just found it a whole lot easier to work on the song in E. So on my MIDI tracks, I just set transpose to minus one and it made creating everything really quick and simple. And the left side here is where your plugins go. So this is where you can select different plugins. These are the ones that come with Logic and then all your audio units are here. And then same thing with the instruments on MIDI channels is where you can choose your instrument. These are the ones that come with Logic. And then AU instruments down here are all your third parties. And then we even have this awesome MIDI effects if you want to mess with an arpeggiator, um, randomizer. There's some, some really cool stuff there uh, that we'll cover in a different video. So that's a very quick overview of Logic Pro's just a range window, where to find everything. So if you're opening a session for the first time, or if you've never used a DAW before, or you've used Pro Tools or Ableton or another DAW, you just kind of have a good idea of where everything is. So I hope that's, that's helpful for you, and I can't wait to hear what tracks you create with Logic.